It's going to be a long one. Have you guys ever heard of the Booberry fandom? I'm sure you have and it doesn't exist, but today we're going to take a look at something similar to this. Now, I have personally never seen something this artistic in my life. It's just truly extraordinary, unique. I've never seen something like this until today. Today, we're going to take an in-depth view at the Booberry fandom. It's so good, it's scary. So good, it's scary. And Roger Barr of Richmond, Virginia, could be Boo's biggest one. He's the creator of the unofficial Booberry website and is dedicated to spreading the word about this good-tasting ghoul. Oh my fucking god, he really... He has every single box that I've pretty much ever seen since I've been alive, like... Because it's such an unusual cereal. I mean, there is nothing like it out there. I mean, you can always find, like, I mean, Count Chocolate, or you can get Cocoa Pebbles or Cocoa Puffs. But Blueberry, there's nothing like it anywhere. There's nothing like it anywhere. Nothing fucking like it! He said it himself, that there's, there's nothing like it. There's no copycats. There's no imitations. There's no fakes. There's no... Shit, what else is there? Off-brand? Wholesale? Today, his goal is to see a box of glue on every shelf. We've done pretty much everything to get word out about Blueberry and get General Mills to put them back into the public a little bit more. The cereal is really hard to find in some places. I mean, depending where you live, you, you just can't get it at all. You just can't get through it all. You, you just can't. You just couldn't. You just couldn't. Roger's website allows fans to tap into everything from tattoos to tunes. Oh my fucking god. Tattoos to music. What type of music is in the Booberry fandom? I fucking wonder. He also urges fellow fanatics to let General Mills know that Booberry's their main monster. When I published General Mills' address, thousands of fans started sending them emails saying, I live in this state, send me Booberry. Hey, I live in Hawaii, send me some Booberry. Hey, I live in Taiwan, send me a crate. Fuck! And he feels that the hard work is paying off with premiums. They've finally started giving some better premiums. Like they recently had a Booberry bank, and then they did the uh, Wacky Wobbler. Premiums. Toys. Collectibles! Eh? You like them? You like that... You like that Funko Pop? Hundreds of dollars. Buy them. Buy the dozens. According to Raj, there's one time of the year that the spooky cereal always makes an appearance. The one time to definitely check around the stores is on Halloween. For this devilish day, General Mills even makes the box look better. They really finally gave Booberry the credit that he deserves and stuff, and I'm hoping they keep doing that from this point on. Halloween. Booberry time. Halloween Booberry time review. Now, you may know this guy. You may definitely know this guy. Fred Willard, totally obsessed. He goes the full mile. Every fucking time. This guy is so consumed with blueberry breakfast cereal, he... Christ, Fred, holy shit, you blew my fucking socks off. You calm down with the intro, I'm fucking shaking over here. Give me PTSD, god damn. 12, 14... For the past 20 years, Roger Barr has been obsessed with blueberry cereal. 22, 24... This lady's face says it all, like, what What in the hell is this white boy doing buying 30 boxes of Booberry? Not tricks, not Lucky Charms, not Count Chocula. As a matter of fact, fuck Count Chocula, according to Rob, Roger, whatever his name is. Fuck. Fuck! <sighs> Roger has eaten at least one bowl of blueberry every day since he was seven. That's more than 7,000 bowls. 2019 update. How many bowls of cereal is it up to now? 
Maybe he's just a fat fuck now. Plot twist, he's a fat fuck now. But he's not. Like, he never was. But he is now because he's, he's eaten so many. But I don't think that's the case because the time lapse between these two is pretty fucking large. It's something like a ten year gap, give or take, between a, the Food Network and MTV coming up on... Roger Barr and his Booberry cereal collection. If I don't eat Booberry cereal in the morning, I, I'm kind of like a heroin addict who hasn't had their drugs in a really long time, you know? I need my drugs, man. I need my drugs, man. Food that goes blue normally means it's rotted. Roger's friend, I'm sure you're a real friend to be saying your friend's eating rotting food. That's real friendly, because that's what friends do. That's what friends do. Anybody who finds Booberry disgusting without trying it, they're just talking out of their ass. Fuck them. Fuck them. They don't like Booberry. They're not your fucking friend. Roger has even waged a campaign against... Can we take note of the fucking music they're using for this one? Da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. The fucking classic MTV, like, double beats kind of thing. Roger has even waged a campaign against Boo's rivals Count Chocula and Frankenberry. It's like, it's like actually a Booberry campaign against God almost. Is it a campaign against capitalism? No, it's a campaign for Booberry, and I think that's what sets this apart from a lot of the other Booberry videos that are out there. Count Chocula and Frankenberry. <laughs> They think they're so great. They're they're always talking, acting just like complete asses. They're always talking, acting like complete asses. I'm a fuck 'em up when I see him. I see, I see Frankenberry in the street. When he mentioned me, he actually wanted to kill one of the other characters. That I I remember that day. It went from here to here so fucking quick. When he actually mentioned he wanted to kill one of the characters. I, I remember that day. I remember that day. Of course you would remember that day. I would remember that day for the rest of my life. You ready to rock, Booberry? We're ready to rock! You ready, Booberry? We're ready to rock! His love for Booberry got the attention of cereal maker General Mills, who told Roger to cease and desist. But Yes, he got a fucking cease and desist from them years later. Previously, we heard that they were encouraging him. Now it is quite the opposite. The tables have turned. They're telling him to fucking stop. Fucking stop! Get some help. But that hasn't stopped Roger from lashing out against Boo's enemies. He got the cease and desist. He kept going. Take note of that, all you smaller creators. You're gonna you're gonna die! The Booberry song has a message of death. Um, basically, it's a death threat. Die! Basically, it's a death threat. Basically, it's a death threat. It's a big <laughs> you to Count Chocula and Frankenberry. I'm not buying their damn cereal ever again. The quest for Booberry. Roger has been known to travel 50 miles just to find a store that stocks Booberry cereal. Frozen waffles? No thank you. I wouldn't walk half a mile to bust a nut, but he's willing to go 50 miles for a box of blue food. A uh, full stock of Booberry. Well, that's what I like to see. Roger will also go well out of his way to bury the competition. Freaking shocking. Needs it. I want people buying Booberry, and I don't want the grocery stores to think that Count Chocolate and Frankenberry are selling. I think he needs to let it go. You need to stop being his friend, first of all. You should disassociate with him. Maybe fuck off. Yeah? Get away from him. You're not you're not best friend material. You're not friend material. What what kind of friend are you? Say first you say his food's fucking toxic, then you tell him to stop. What's next? You're gonna fucking tell him to uninstall? Like what a douchebag. Fuck you. <laughs> it's friggin' SpongeBob SquarePants cereal. He gets all the attention and Booberry is left behind. Ridiculous. See a box of SpongeBob on the shelf? Fucking hit it. Just fucking whack it. I equate Count Chocula with crap, so what better place to put it with than with toilet paper, so. No one's gonna see this down here. 
Look at that. It's perfect. He's hiding the cereal so they think that they're not selling well. It's the greatest thing that I've ever heard of in, like, it's one of the best things I've ever witnessed. I used to think I was the only one who used to hide things around the store. Now I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> who wants to live a life without booberry? Not me. Who wants to live in a world without booberry? Not me. As a matter of fact. I, who wants to live in a world without booberry? Not me.